Erica to your Caribou Data Science channel. Before we get started, I have one favor to ask you folks today. If you are watching this video on YouTube, I'd appreciate it if you click on that share button. Share this video on your Facebook and your Twitter account today, all right? Let's get this report up and running here. And of course, I will mention, of course, the, the 9 p.m. Eastern Time live stream on Twitch. Because if we had a previous 365 days, the U.S. had 51.9 million cases, 415,619 deaths. And you can see here is that. Uh, As you, can see, as you can see here, uh, in the U.S., cases for 2020 have passed the total number of cases of 2021. Good news is deaths are still lagging a little behind the 2021 numbers. You, take a, you can see we did have we had, had a declining trend beginning in April. And as of June the 9th, we were averaging 107,681 cases per day. Deaths. As of June the 9th, we were averaging at 384.2 deaths per day. And if it's any good news, is that the weekly number of cases are below a million. We can see this nice increasing pattern here. What about deaths? Deaths are kind of level off plus a few spikes, so that's not particularly good in the U.S. Cases will be, you know, not particularly good. This could be what? This could be the one, two, three, four. Well, the good news is, and this really is very good news, there's a chance that June's COVID 19 deaths could be the fifth month in a row we saw a decline. And the lowest number, it could be the lowest number of cases in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. This could wind up being the lowest number of deaths of the, for any month out of the previous 10 months in America, okay? So we're always, we're always trying to find a gooder news to, in, in this situation, okay? And before I let you go, America, again, I get that favorite ask. Click on that share button for me. Share this video on Facebook and Twitter today. Let's conclude our reports for today.